Yo, what's up? Let's make a track like Monty Booker. Amonti Booker, professionally known as Monty Booker, is a producer hailing from Chicago, Illinois. Known for his insane, otherworldly production style and for making hit songs for artists like J. Cole, J.I.D., and Smino. Monty grew up in a pretty musically diverse family, his mom putting him on to lots of 90s R&B, his dad being a big reggae fan, and Monty being into Andre 3000 and Pharrell. He got into music making when he was a teen and would make beats at his friend's house who had a copy of FL Studio. And one Christmas, his mom would buy him a cheap laptop so he could continue his producing endeavors, cultivating his unique production style. He got a pretty big following on SoundCloud for his beats, but many local rappers found his beats too difficult to rap over, until his manager introduced him to a St. Louis rapper named Smino at a local studio session. They would hit it off and work on music together and even form a collective called Zero Fatigue. As a collective, Monty would produce EPs and albums for Smino like Black Jupiter, Black Swan, and Noir, and later would produce for hip-hop heavyweights like J. Cole and J.I.D. Right now, Monty Booker is an insane force in hip-hop, showing his one-of-a-kind take on hip-hop and R&B. And him and his collective are showing zero fatigue of slowing down. Monty Booker likes to use light sounding melodies, using simple synths with airy qualities. Sometimes his synths are drenched in reverb or use some nice sliding synth notes. Everything adds up and has a lot of ear candy. Overall, it's pretty melodic and light, leaving a lot of room for the drums and bass later. I started off with this pan flute preset in synth one and laid down this simple chord progression. Pretty cool. I layered that with a lead melody with a preset I made in 3X Oscillator, which is a plugin that Monty likes to use a lot during his streams. It's just a saw wave with a small attack envelope, portamento slide enabled, and some effects. EQ, reverb with crystalline, ear candy delay with comeback kid, and an EQ to cut the buzz. The next melody I added used a preset in Sakura, and it's a simple counter melody. I love the airy quality it has, and the effects just add to that. Simple high pass EQ, reverb with crystalline, and a stereo shaper. I like what I had so far, but I felt like it was too tame. It didn't quite have that spontaneous feel yet. So I added another 3X oscillator with some portamental slide and some delay effects with back mask and comeback kid for some nice ear candy. Something that Monty would definitely make on his OP-1. And I know, it's all because Monty uses an OP-1 and I don't have an OP-1, okay? And neither do you, I know who you are. So this is the best I could do. But even with the setback, I still think the melodies came out super nice. They're nice and otherworldly, but still simple and catchy. And if you're interested on making catchy melodies, you can learn that with Melodics. Melodics is a desktop app that helps you build your skills with your MIDI keyboard. With over 1,500 courses, lessons, and exercises to choose from, Melodics covers every aspect of learning the piano, from learning the notes and finger placements to practicing scales and hand coordination. And everything's beautifully organized in different courses, so you can improve exactly where you want to. Melodics keeps track of your accuracy and timing while you play and gives feedback on what you need to work on. It makes learning the piano pretty fun and intuitive. And if you wanted to focus on a specific genre, you could use the filter search function and search to your heart's content. Everything ranging from hip-hop, neo-soul, classical, and everything in between. And right now, Melodics has introduced songs, so you can learn how to play real songs from real artists. You can learn iconic riffs from TLC or bass lines from Thundercat, and Melodics will break it down for you, note for note. And once you gain the knowledge with Melodics, you can definitely use it outside of the app, like working on your own music, jamming out in a studio session, or even performing live. If you want to try it out, use my link in the description. It is free to download. Monty Booker is a wizard on the drums. His drums always hit hard, and they have such a unique pocket, fusing modern trap elements with organic and acoustic sounds. If you're trying to understand more of that Monty Booker bounce, you kind of have to look at some of his inspirations, and he's often cited Flying Lotus as one of them. Another artist that inspired, inspired that? Um, yeah. Definitely Flying Lotus. Flying just Lotus. hearing all the organic sounds that he would put in the a track it was just like wow he's a producer who's known for having unique drum pockets and popularizing that sloppy drum sound 
for my track, the sloppiness begins with the hi-hats. You're probably looking at this and thinking, yo, where's the sloppy? Because I know some people like to take their hi-hats and then place them slightly off the grid, but I like to have my notes on the grid. So in my case, I just go into the drum sampler and mess around with the shift knob. But Praxi, how do I know how much I should shift it over? That's a great question. To be honest, you have to feel it. Music is art and art is all about feeling. Mess with it, listen to it and see what you like. For me, I just moved it about right here. It just sounded right to me. I also layered the hi-hats with some cool percussion sounds like some snares, claps, and some other various noises. And to kind of tie everything together, I put this shaker loop. Once I laid out the drums, I added the 808, which is using one of those thumpy sounding basses that Monty likes to use. I also had to make some different patterns for this one, I had to keep it interesting. And the last drum I added was the kick, short and thumpy, and really adds to the bounce of the track. I also shifted it over a little bit so it's not completely on the grid. To get more of that Monty Booker aesthetic, I added a few effect sounds. Just little bits of ear candy that ascends the overall beat. For example, Monty likes to use some laser sounds as transitions, so I added some laser samples here and there to bring in sections of the beat. I also use this free plugin called Blaster, and all it does is make laser sounds for you. It's pretty cool. And to pay a little homage to his early days on SoundCloud, I decided to add a rap vocal acapella to play over certain parts of the track. For my track, I'm using Plain Jane by ASAP Ferg. Just added some effects like Bit Crusher with Destructor and some EQ and Delay. Real talk, Monty Booker is actually kind of slept on, and I don't think that should be the case. For somebody so talented, you would think more people would be championing his name. But in a way, I feel like he's only popular for people that are really into production. But maybe I'm just early on the curve. Maybe his time is coming. I just love what he does, and I want him to get the respect he deserves.